Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to block out hosts and web pages, servers, uh, advertisement addresses, all kinds of stuff using the Windows host file. This is a tidbit of a crude way to do it, but it's also a very effective way in which you can't just go accidentally uninstall a program or something like that. Once you put it in this host file, it is blocked. This also works if you're trying to ground your kids from social media websites or trying to keep them off of them. Works for a lot of different things and you know there's no password to just be able to figure out and go re-enable re access. You're not going to just uninstall a program and re-enable access. You have to know how to edit this host file in order to be able to stop the system from blocking you from being able to connect to it. And the way it works is it works by telling the computer itself that in order to access that host that it has to access your computer itself because it's on the system and you know it's not it's actually out on the internet but as long as it's telling it that it's on this system and it's not then it's not going to be able to access it and it's not going to be able to bring it up the first thing you're probably going to want to get is a very powerful text editor, editor called notepad plus plus that is actually a very good text editor that's capable of resaving any file back as its original file type without actually changing the formatting or anything else to the file. I will provide links as well as the location of the Windows host file in the description. The first thing you're going to want to do is pull up your web browser and go to Notepad++. And once you make it to the download page, it'll be right here. All you have to do is click on this download button. And it'll download the installer you need. Hit save. Now if you're running Avast, it's probably going to pop up this pop-up right here that says File Reputation Warning. The file you're downloading seems to be very new or very rare. It's a legit download. Don't freak out about it. Don't just click OK and abort the connection. Hit complete, Select Complete Download down here at the bottom and click OK. It'll finish the download. Now you need to run the installer. Click on it to run it unless you're running uh, Internet Explorer or... Firefox then you'll have to hit run click yes whenever user account control comes up and then click OK next I agree next next install shouldn't take it real long to install it's a pretty small program it's very powerful for what it is but it's a pretty small program and then deselect the run, click finish, and at this point you can now close down your web browser. You're going to want to pull up Windows Explorer. If you don't have an icon down here in the task tray, just go to start, all programs, accessories, and Windows Explorer will be right there. And your host file will be under C drive, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC and right there's hosts right click it and click copy and it would probably be better to throw it to your downloads folder or on your desktop someplace where you don't have a whole lot of files and it'll be pretty easy to find it again so then click paste right click on it and hit edit with notepad plus plus when it opens up it's going to look like this and you'll see right here where it says local host name resolution is handled within DNS itself 127.001 localhost. That's telling the system that anything to that IP address or routed to that IP address is on the system itself. So if you're wanting to block like let's say YouTube you put in 127.0.0.1 space www.youtube.com same with Facebook you're still going to put 127.0.0.1 www.facebook.com and at that point, once you save it and rewrite the host file back over, it is absolutely not going to connect up to it. Um, as I stated earlier, if you know the address to any of the advertisements or anything like that that you don't want popping up on your system anymore, you can actually put the address in here and stop that ad from even being able to pop up because once it links back to it, your system's going to say, hey, that's on this computer when it's not and you'll never see it again. Um, if you're wanting to block your kids from 
different servers like a game server or something like that if they've been grounded and you don't want them getting on the social media and you don't want them uh, playing certain games and stuff then this is a good way to do it you can block IP addresses through this method by telling it that that address connects to your computer and it'll stop you from being stop it from being able to connect up to a certain IP address I mean there's numerous different things you can block using the host file uh, it's it's actually a very very handy and nice trick to have and know that it's capable of doing so to save it you can either go up here and click on the save button or click file and save or you can just click on the X up here and it'll come up saying do you want to save file just say yes and then to write it back you right click on it click cut go back to the host file which is under your C Windows system 32 drivers ETC and there it is and then you just right click down here in the white hit paste and then you're gonna click move and replace when you select move and replace it's gonna come up telling you that you need a uh, you're going to need administrator per permission and you should be running an admin account anyway so you'll just click yes and it'll rewrite the file overwrite it and you are done I don't want to overwrite my host file because there are a bunch of them in there that I have blocked so I'm going to click don't move and once you get it overwritten that's it you don't have to reboot the system or anything it'll go and check the host file at that point I would recommend rebooting it anyway but it will go in and check the host file and at that point everything that you put in there will be blocked instead of being able to pull it up it's going to come up saying that it can't access or it can't find and that's because it's being told to look in a location where it does not exist this information is out there for absolutely everybody and as always watch like and share and have a great day